Hello beautiful people, this is part three of our SI joint and lower back pain rehab journey. If you have experienced severe back pain in the first part, you may have started with some simple breathing and the pelvic clock to build coordination and deep, deep front line strength. And in part two, we looked at also coordinating movement and build strength and endurance of the abdominal, but also hip flexor and extensor and adductor area. And now this part three will be challenging your core musculature, but also all involved hip flexor and back extensor muscles in this journey. Let's come on to all fours to begin. The hands under your shoulders, the fingers spread wide and to switch on the arm lines a little bit more, I suggest you to pull the hands away from one another and you will feel the back arm line in particular will fire up slightly. This is what we want to maintain. The collarbones are wide. The breath is flowing three dimensionally through the rib cage whilst you're doing the following exercises. Your knees are under your hips. And now let's find again center in the pelvis. Um, tilting your pelvis forward and backward. Also, you may want to just wave your tail from left to right. Some people may tend to hike one hip up to one side. Also finding equal length in the torso here. Let's begin with a pelvic tilt. A cat pose in the movement is com coming from the lower back. So it's not a flexion of the upper, the thoracic spine, but more so initiated from the pelvic floor and the abdominal muscles. So as you exhale, you tilt your pelvis back, your glutes are switched off, and then inhale back to center. And then exhale, and inhale back to center. Now with your next exhalation, you tilt your pelvis, and you allow to arch your spine, following the wave of movement from the pelvis, and your head relaxes and follows the curve with the cervical spine. Take an inhale here. Notice how the superficial back line expands almost three-dimensionally. So not into length only, but also into width as we breathe in. And then as you exhale, shift your pelvis back. Now you have to increase, or it will automatically happen really, the strength of your abdominals and pelvic floor muscles. Take an inhale here. Again, feel the widening, the opening in the lower back in the thoracolumbar fascia area. And then exhale. Inhale, center your pelvis as you are shifted back and lift the head. So the back of the head and your sacrum are in one line and inhale shifting forward again. We repeat this, exhale, tilt your pelvis, allow the head to relax, inhale here, feel the width of the rib cage, and then exhale, shift back, you're increasing the strength now also the obliques will switch on and play with this movement and then Inhale, exhale, let's continue inhaling, staying here for a little bit, exhale, and then as you inhale, now your erector spinae muscles, your back extensor muscles will have to join the movement and bring the pelvis back into center, shift your weight forward. Wonderful. Exhale, tilt your pelvis back. The movement really comes from the lower part of your spine. Yogis may be tempted to move right into the thoracic, the back of the heart space, but I will invite you to do something new here. So you're tilting your pelvis, your head is relaxed as you exhale. Inhale into the back body. Exhale, deep front line, shift it back. 
and the front line engaged inhale exhale stay here lift your right arm up and lower inhale and with the next exhalation lift the left inhale lower exhale if you like you can lift both arms up slightly or just hover the hands over the floor inhale here exhale we're holding here isometric strength also builds the brain body connection and then inhale extending the spine into a centered position and shift forward again we come now to the next exercise the leg press inhale lift the leg legs and exhale press the shin bones into the floor inhale and exhale shin bones and top of the feet pressing into the floor three out of ten inhale again exhale press five out of ten you will notice your transverses abdominals but also hip flexors and the obliques will switch on inhale now press eight out of ten exhale maintaining the centeredness of your spine the openness of the collarbones inhale now with the next exhalation press and hover your knees off the floor stay here for an inhalation and then exhale release inhale lift the feet off the floor exhale press and hover as much as it's comfortable for you the pelvis stays in the centered position and then release inhale lift the legs lower them down and shift into a child's pose from here back onto all fours and now we move into a more coordination movement and balancing act, the very classical bird dog. And you don't want to ask, estimate the power of these simple exercises, but if you are someone with acute pain, this can be a really, really a saver and also a nurturer for your nervous system. So teaching the nervous system back to move. So your right arm, your left leg lift, your left hip will not tilt over, it stays in line with the right hip. You may want to touch your back and notice if there's any, like, any angle in the hips. Stay here, inhale, and then bring the hands down again. Another inhalation through the nose, three-dimensionally into the ribcage. As you exhale, slide your right leg and lift your left arm. Your right arm is active. The arm line here is supportive of this balanced pose. And then lower down again. You can continue this movement or join me into a bit of a more of a challenging movement here. So you either stay here, inhale, reach from the fingertips, reach from the toes, or you tilt your pelvis as you did before in the cat pose and now bring the knee and the elbows together bring the head down inhale we do three of those inhale the arm bone is in the socket the shoulders have space from the ears exhale the pelvis tilts you lift the pubic bone towards the navel and then inhale reach again and then exhale again deep front line is challenged here different fibers of your of your pelvic floor deep abdominals and also the functional lines want to play with this exercise and get involved here inhale and lower down inhale here exhale tilt the pelvis back shift back into an angry cat inhale exhale center the spine center the pelvis center the spine shift forward again and now with the next exhalation you reach out the right arm arm in the socket leg reaches out and you either stay here or you exhale the pelvis tilts into a posterior tilt and the knee and the elbow move together inhale and exhale 
now you become shorter. Your breath may be a bit compressed here, but as you inhale again, you reach the bones of the hand, of the arm out and the leg bones and the toes reaching out whilst the femur is connected to the socket and the arm bone, the humerus is connected to the socket. And one more exhale here. And again, finding space of your bones, inhale. And now release. Take an inhale here, the hands pull away from one another. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back and shift back into an angry cat. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, extend the spine to a centered position and shift forward onto all fours and move into a child's pose. Wiggling your hips from side to side if this feels appropriate for you. And then slowly come up to seated position. <laughs>